So one of the things that I like to do on my RV uh, whenever I get the chance is do some things that help to update the look as well as improve the functionality. This is a 2000. It's got a few years and a few miles on it. Um, <clears throat> and one of the things that you see in a lot of newer RVs are these roof vent covers. Um, I like the way they look. And then the other big functional improvement that they do is that they help to prevent rain from going in. So if you're at a campsite for a while, you want to leave your vents open during the day, but you don't want rain to get in, this is great. Uh, I'd wanted to do these for a while anyway, and then this fan started to make noise. Uh, and then upon looking at it, I found deals on the other, on fans for the other two. They were all original, so I figured I'd go ahead and replace them. Um, these are the Fantastic Vent Covers. Uh, and I've got the fantastic vent fans already. So these are designed to work with the fans. Um, one thing to note is that with them on, you can't open the lid all the way, but it's not too big of a deal. You get it open most of the way and, and it gets enough for the airflow. Installation's pretty simple. Um, you have to measure and then drill in holes for these brackets. And over here, on this one that I've already done, you can see how the brackets, basically uh, the cover just goes onto the brackets and then you have those pins to hold them in place. Uh, one step I have not done yet is put the uh, Dicor self-leveling sealant on to prevent leaks. Uh, so I'll get to that later in the video. But I've done the other two fans. These are really simple to replace. Two wires four screws. So we'll just uh, pull this one out, put the new one in. And all set. Let's go inside make sure it turns on. I'm not sure how well it shows up on this video, but in person this fan really looks old and dirty. You could probably remove it and clean it some, but ultimately the plastic's just old and weathered. And also if you take a look up you can see there's the big fan motor. It sticks out. You can't really see the rust on it, but it's rusty on top. If you compare over here, nice, clean fan blades, fresh, you can see through them and all of that. So it really does a lot to update how the bus looks from the inside. All right, let's turn it on. Works fine. One thing I'll note is that these new fans are not any quieter than the old fans, assuming your old ones were working right. But I will point out one thing, is that if you put the covers on like I did, um, you don't get any natural light in, or at least very little. So you want to think about that if if you're on the fence, um, or just it's a consideration. So in the bathroom here, where um, or in the toilet closet, whatever you want to call it, where I used to get natural light in, now I don't. So in there, it's a bit of a negative. Here in the bathroom that goes back into the bedroom, uh, that's actually a positive because then that helps keep it darker in the morning. So just something to think about. I'll put the sealant on, waited a couple of days for it to cure. And as you can see, now these are on. They come with these little clips. I put them facing forward. Um, there's no way that the wind from going down the road should be enough to push them out, but figured why not. See how they look on the ground, or if you can really tell from here in the shop. Well, I tried and I couldn't get an angle where you could see how these things look from down in the shop, but hopefully you found this useful. I'm really looking forward to this improvement on the RV. Uh, it should help keep rainwater out if I want to leave those open when it's raining. Uh, updates the look. Really just happy with it all, all around. Uh, I put links in the description to the parts that I used for this. So thanks for watching. Have a good day.